the latest in the shocking death of Glee star Corey Monteith. We are learning now that the season debut may be delayed, and ABC's Chris Connolly has the story. It's a question that's unlikely to be on the minds of the producers and performers who are now mourning the death of Corey Monteith. But not surprisingly, the speculation has already begun. How can Glee go on? Anytime a tragedy like this happens, it's a real shock to a production. And so there's an emotional toll that's going to be taken. And then secondly, there's the logistic challenge of how do you replace an integral part of a major TV show. Reports published and online contend that Fox has decided to put Glee on a brief hiatus, moving the show's season debut from September to November, giving writers time to craft an appropriate send-off. In a statement yesterday, Fox said, we cannot confirm any of these reports. It's going to be interesting to see what Glee will do because they left his character at an interesting juncture where he had already gone off to college. There was going to be a number of new characters coming in. The challenges are daunting. Monteith's Finn Hudson was beloved by an audience that not only enjoyed his character's relationship with Leah Michelle's Rachel, but also knew that they were together in real life. It's going to be extremely tough for this young lady to carry on after weathering such tough circumstances. He wasn't, he wasn't breathing. The West Wing had to deal with star John Spencer's untimely passing. And eight simple rules faced the shattering reality of leading man John Ritter's tragic death. The show did manage to go on without him for about a season, but it was never really the same. I know it's late. Yet for a show that has never shied away from taking risks, creator Ryan Murphy will soon confront big decisions that will shape Glee's legacy. I would not be surprised to see him lean into the challenge here in a, in a very interesting way. That could make for some pretty memorable and controversial television. For Good Morning America, Chris Connolly, ABC News, Los Angeles. Still so hard to believe, and a memorial for Monteith in Los Angeles is being planned.